Prepare a tray with the following materials. Sterile gloves, cotton balls, bait dine, sterile eye sheet, syringes 5 and 10 milliliters, 2% lidocaine, bone marrow needle, glass slides, and test tubes. Disinfect the preferred site of puncture using betadine antiseptic solution. Swab the area several times in a direction moving from inward to out. A sterile eye sheet may be placed to localize the preferred site of puncture. Start the procedure by locally infiltrating the skin and periosteum using 2% lidocaine solution. Infiltrate the most superficial layer of the skin, then advance the injection needle until it touches the bone and again inject the anesthetic. The total amount used should not be more than 5 milliliters. Notice the depth to which the needle penetrates before reaching the bone. This will give a good indication of how deep the bone marrow needle must go. Massage the area gently with sterile gauze before inserting the bone marrow needle to allow spread of the local anesthetic. Insert the bone marrow needle vertically and with a boring and slightly rotating motion, advance the bone marrow needle into the bone until a sudden give is felt as the marrow cavity is entered. At this stage, remove the stylet from the needle and attach a 10 milliliter syringe to the needle. Apply suction by withdrawing the plunger of the syringe until the first drop of blood appears in the syringe, at which point remove the needle. Discharge a small drop of the aspirated marrow onto one end of each glass slide. Tilt the glass slide to allow excess peripheral blood to drip and concentrate on the bone marrow spicules on the surface of the glass slides prior to spreading. The presence of white clumps of salt-like material on the glass slides represent bone marrow spicules and are indicative of adequate and appropriate specimen collection. Using one glass slide as a spreader or pusher, place the spreader at an angle of 30 to 45 degrees in front of the bone marrow aspirate and then move it back to make contact with the specimen. The drop of bone marrow aspirate upon contact with the spreader must spread out quickly along the line of contact of the pusher with the slide. The forward movement of the pusher spreads the blood on the slide. The film should be about 300 millimeters long. The pusher should not be lifted off the slide until the last trace of blood has been spread out. Air dry all the films. Label all glass slides with the patient's name using a sharpened pencil. Fix and stain at least two representative bone marrow films from the specimen collected. Provide a properly labeled container for the bone marrow films for safekeeping and future review.